If you calibrate your BenQ SW display with Palette Master Element and run into an error where the calibration stops right in the middle and a dialog pops up saying sensor measurement error. This video is going to tell you what's causing it and how to fix it on a Macintosh system. In addition, even if the calibration passed but the validation failed, this video may also solve those issues that you may have with failed validation as well. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For a quick background, if your calibration stops right in the middle and you are getting the sensor measurement error, what generally causes that is another calibration program that is running in the background and that is conflicting with Palette Master Element. Essentially, that program is trying to communicate with the calibration device, causing the device not to be able to talk to Palette Master Element fully. And also, even if you're able to finish the calibration, many times your validation will fail, and this can also be the cause for that as well. I have a newly format Macintosh system here, and this is running the latest OS X Catalina 10.15.6, and I have installed a cocktail of calibration programs on this computer or this OS. i1 Profiler, i1 Studio, Color Monkey Display, Color Monkey Photo, and Spider 10 Elite for calibration. So the only program so far in the latest version that's being released and you're able to download online that install the startup program automatically is the Spider 10. And from my testing, that is also causing a conflict with Palette Master Element where you're able to finish the calibration, but your validation will fail. The thing is that XWrite for their two current software, the i1 Profiler and the i1 Studio, if you have those, doesn't really add itself to the startup anymore, but I have gone and added into my system anyway in the event that you have upgraded from the previous version of Mac OS. This will show you how you can remove it from the startup. Another thing that has been suggested rather than removing it from the startup is to uninstall the program entirely. However, if you're running a multi-display setup like I have right now with my MacBook Pro link up to the SW270C, Anytime I want to go back and calibrate my MacBook internal display, I have to install the software again, creating a huge inconvenience. So let's solve that problem together. To fix this, we would go into System Preferences. And do note that the location of where these settings are in System Preferences may be different on my computer because I am running Catalina. If you are running a previous version, these locations will be slightly different. So the startup, program that we want to identify here is in users and group and this is across all Mac OS versions. So once you click on there, what you want to do is identify the current user but primarily what you want to do here is go into the tab at the very top, login items. And if you see right now, there's a whole bunch of software that I have as a login item, Spy Utility, i1 Studio Tray, i1 Profiler Tray. I also have the Color Monkey Display Tray but that's also showing an X in front of it, meaning that that software is a fairly old software is not 64 bits, so it is not compatible with Catalina. That's the one nice thing about if you have ever used a Color Monkey software before, in Catalina it won't run. So if you're running on the latest Mac OS, you're fine. However, if you're sticking with Mojave for the time being for software compatibility reasons or whatever that may be, if you have Color Monkey installed, both Color Monkey Display and also Color Monkey Photo, if the Color Monkey tray is in the startup, it will prevent Palette Master Element from even recognizing any X-Rite devices. So that's just one thing to remember. The easiest thing to do is to come in here and what you're simply going to do is click on it and click on that minus. Highlight it, remove it, and then we're going to remove pretty much everything. Once you're done with this, what you simply do is going to close this out and restart your computer. From there, you can start Palette Master Element again, and then you can run the calibration. And if you were able to finish the calibration but didn't pass the validation, this may help. But this will also help solve any sensor error issues that you may have as well. So I hope that you find this quick tip on how to remove other calibration software from starting up with your system, causing conflict with Palette Master Element. The great thing about doing it this way is you can use Palette Master Element to do a hardware calibration on your BenQ SUV display. And at any point in time where you need to calibrate or run a software calibration on your built-in display, you can also do that without having to reinstall the program again. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified when I upload new contents like this. And until next time, I just write.